Hey guys, it's Coach Attacker Hive. Today we're out on the range and we're gonna talk about reaching out. Now, if you wanna reach out, you can use a weapon like this, but um, can't always, because walking down the street with something like this might attract a little attention. Now, this is a Uinta Precision Upper 308. You got an Arcan Optics EPL4 and a uh, SD Tactical uh, muzzle device on the end there. All right, but this is, a, this is a real good setup, works awesome, but it's pretty obvious what you're showed up to do if you're carrying this thing around. In urban environments or someplace where you wanna be a little more discreet and you, maybe you don't have to reach out quite as far, you might be able to fit, I don't know, something cool into a bag that you could walk down the street with this. This is just an example, civilian bag. Hell, I don't even know who makes it, don't care. All right, test your gear, make sure everything fits in. But with this, I can be walking down the street with this bad boy. No one's even gonna notice me. Wanna unzip it? I've got a little 300 blackout pistol standing by. Now, once I'm in position, I can pull this out. And this is gonna be really good for clearing the house until I get to where I need to be to make my shot, right? Once you find your your sniper position. So in this, you're gonna have supersonics probably, you know, set up, have a 30 round magazine, all loaded up with supers, ready to go and, you know, take things down, right? Now, once you get to the top there and you wanna reach out, well, all it takes is uh, popping two pins. Let me put that back in the bag. Let me pull this out. Another product from uh, Uinta Precision, and this is the UP15 Upper in 300 Blackout. It's got a 10 and a half inch barrel, got an SD Tactical muzzle device here, and then <clears throat> carry my Subsonics and a little 10 round magazine so you don't get them confused. Drop that bad boy in there, and now I'm set up out to. I probably get about 300 yards out of this bad boy. Uh, you know, 762 will reach out a lot farther, but in most urban settings, you're not going to get a lot more than, than 300 yards. So this has uh, got the Arcan Optics EP8. It's a one to eight, so it'll work really good for well, not only for clearing that house uh, if you had to. Not ideal. You notice on this one, we just have a red dot and a flashlight. If you had to work your way out, you could probably work with this one. 8X is gonna get you pretty much everything you need for 300 yards. So, uh, this is still set up as a pistol. So I got a pistol brace on it. We just had this thing out here today. Uh, Uint Precision guarantees one MOA. And that's what we found today. It's definitely in there. Uh, now, supers were dead on. And with the subs, uh, with this particular reticle, I'm at the six. So this reticle is basically built for uh, 5.56 and uh, 308. But I mean, 300 blackout, you're pretty much gonna have to take it out, shoot it, and figure out where your holds are. So uh, at 100 yards, put the six on this bad boy, and uh, we're dead on. We'll do some more shooting with it and kind of figure out my holds out to about 300, and we'll go from there. That's pretty much it for the gun. Starting from the front, we've got the SD Tactical muzzle device, um, the Uinta Precision upper and 300 blackout. It's got a 10 and a half inch barrel and it's sitting on a standard forged lower receiver. Um, I've got the Arcan Optics uh, EP8, one to eight by 28. And I got the um, Sylvan Arms folder. It's one I had laying around. And then uh, your Magpul pistol brace. So. Uh, that's pretty much this setup. It's a lot smaller and you know gets can get a lot smaller than walking around with this bad boy. You'd never be able to put this bad boy into a pack like this. Now, I think my daughter gave this to me for Christmas one year. It was for hauling camera gear around in. So uh, it's not, not made for it. It's not gonna be any catalog. No one's gonna look at this and go, oh my God, there's a gun in there. Now, when you set your stuff up, you gotta bring some stuff along. Right, so if you're going to be moving around, just a, a standard chest rig, fold it up, shoved in here, it'll fit. 
Um, you know, you, you want your, just your basic pouches, nothing too fancy. Remember, we're, we're keeping this low. We're not camping out. We're not bringing, you know, the kitchen sink with us. But what, we, what we're going to need, we're going to need, yeah, your standard magazines with supersonic ammo or whatever you're going to be shooting long distance with. You can, might shoot super, supers too. But once you get set up, I'd rather put these 10 round magazines because you can get nice and low. Um, and it's, if you're sniping, you probably don't need that, that big a well of ammo, right? Um, a good old little laser range finder, good to have. Uh, especially uh, e even these that go as far as you're going to reach out with that thing. So a nice small one, you don't have to have to go too high a dollar on that. Um, and a good set of binoculars, okay? About mm, 10 power is as much as you want to go, 8 to 10. Uh, you get any higher than that and it starts shaking too much, you can't see what the hell you're doing. Um, so, but you need something small, light, again, that can fit in here. Uh, as you pack things in, you want to make sure you can get them out smoothly, that things aren't snagging. Uh, and, and then if this isn't enough, then there's, you can go slightly larger than this and still you're not going to attract any attention. Um, everything will fit in there. I mean, now you got to think about the, um, you know, this is kind of a big blowout kit, but you know, what's your mission? You know, if that's going to be part of it and, um, you know, you want to be able to you know, take care of somebody or yourself, if you get a ding, uh, probably a good idea to have something like that as well. Uh, but you can set everything up pretty much in a bag about this size and stay low profile. You know, um, if you got to reach out farther, then you're going to need something bigger and hopefully have a bunch of friends with you to take care of uh, other ancillary uh, situations. Uh, but if you're on your own, you want to stay low vis, something like this, a little setup. Um, I think that's the that's where I'm going to go. And for Urban shooting, you know, if you've got to get in there, uh, you want to stay low vis and you're not going to get that long distance shot requirement anyway. You might as well go with something that you can pack up in a nice small package and uh, get to work. Well, guys, if you like this content, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. And um, I don't know, some of you might know that I just started my own channel. It's called PFI Coach. Uh, it's nowhere near as good as this, but uh, go check it out. Let me know what you think. All right, coach out.